Hi, I'm Kevin from TR Electronic. Let's spend a few minutes talking about label sensors. There are three different kinds of label sensors on the market today. Optical sensors that use infrared emitter receiver to detect the leading edge of the label. There's capacitive sensors that use a capacitive coupling to detect the difference in capacitance between the label and the carrier material. And there's ultrasonic label sensors that detect a difference in attenuation between the emitted and received signal uh, for the label and the carrier material. So by now, I'm sure you've noticed the sensor comparison table here where we compare the three different kinds of sensing technologies to one another. We'll start off in the first column where we have non-transparent labels on non-transparent carrier material. And you'll see that all three technologies work just fine for this application. Carry that over into the second column where we have non-transparent labels on transparent carrier materials. Again, all three technologies work fine for that. In the third column, you'll notice that the optical sensor drops off. Now, this is with transparent labels. The optical sensors don't like to work with uh, transparent labels, especially when they're on transparent backgrounds. The next column are the metalized labels. Now, when I say metalized label, either the entire label is made out of metal or you could have metal embossing on the label. The capacitive sensor has some difficulty with these, so I wouldn't recommend that for these applications. In the final column, we have the booklet. Now, the booklet label is a kind of label that you'll find on a chemical spray bottle. You know, where it'll say, peel here to read the ingredients underneath. Those labels can be quite thick and the opening on the capacitive sensor is only one millimeter. So it does have difficulty with these thicker labels. So in those applications, I would recommend either an optical or an ultrasonic label sensor for those. Let's do some sample tests with the optical, capacitive, and ultrasonic sensors from Desoric. We're gonna start with the OGUTI optical label sensor, and I'm gonna teach them by holding the teach button for three seconds and running the label through. This is a paper on paper label. See, it works very well. A slightly thicker paper on paper label. Notice I'm not teaching the sensor and it works just fine. In the beginning of the video, if you remember, the optical sensor has difficulty with clear labels. So here we have a clear label on a paper backing. You'll see the sensor has difficulty detecting the transition. It's actually detecting the colored area of the clear label. So it's not an ideal choice for this kind of label. Now we're going to look at the KSSTI capacitive label sensor from Desoric. And the first thing I'm going to do is teach the sensor by holding the button for three seconds and running a sample through. You can see it works quite well for the clear label on the paper backing. Now we'll try paper on paper. I won't even need to recalibrate here. It works just fine. Now we have a slightly thicker label, and if you remember from earlier in the video, I mentioned it has difficulty with thicker labels. This label is actually not too thick, so it works quite well in that one millimeter opening. Last but not least, the UGUTI ultrasonic label sensor from Desoric. You'll notice as I pass the different types of labels through, I don't need to reteach. It just works right out of the box. And that's the case for most applications, and the beauty of the ultrasonic sensor. It's the Swiss Army knife of all of these sensors. It just works. There is a downside to this in that the ultrasonic sensor is the most expensive sensor of the bunch. Let's summarize. If your application is for sensing labels that are paper on paper, paper on clear, metalized, or thicker labels, go with the optical sensor. It's very reliable, forgiving, easy to use, and inexpensive. If your application involves clear plastic labels on paper or clear on clear, and you do the occasional paper on paper, consider the capacitive sensor. If you want the absolute best of both worlds, go with the ultrasonic sensor. You won't be disappointed. Now, these are just a few samples of our offering. We also have many different variations of the sensors you've seen today. Thanks for spending some time with me today talking about label sensors. If you'd like to reach out to us, I'll put all the information below.